The Spider and the Fly. Listen to this play adapted from The Spider and the Fly by Mary Howitt. Spidey the Spider has laid out a beautiful web and is eagerly waiting for Flip the Fly to enter his webby parlor. Flip is hovering around, undecided if she should enter or not. Will you walk into my parlor? It's the prettiest little parlor that you ever saw. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and I've many curious things to show when you get there. Oh no, no! To ask me is in vain, for he who goes up your winding stair can never come down again. I'm sure you must be tired, dear, with soaring up so high. Rest your tired little head upon my silken bed and close your little eye. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. Come, dear, come now. Do rest a while, and I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh no, no! For often have I heard it said, they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed. Oh, my dear, dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. You know you're very welcome. Come, please, just take a slice. Oh no, no, kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry, and I don't wish to see. Oh, sweet creature, you're witty and you're wise. How beautiful are your gauzy wings! How brilliant are your eyes! I've a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'll step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, for what you're pleased to say. And wishing you good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider turned round about and went into his den. He knew quite well that the silly fly would soon come back again. Oh, silly, silly fly! What could you possibly gain by flying into danger's way all over again? The spider quickly wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then out he came to his door again, and merrily did he sing, for he just wanted to get hold of that thing with gauzy wings. Come here, pretty fly, with the pearl and silver wing. Come, listen to the pretty song that I for you do sing. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crown upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine. Oh, they are as dull as lead. Oh my! You do say the loveliest things. I'll come in by and by. I'll not hurt your feelings by thinking you to be sly. Come, dear one, with brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, your crowned head and gauzy wings. There's none so pretty as you. Alas, alas! How very soon the silly little fly, hearing the flattering words, came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings, she flew around. Nearer drew at last. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den, and she never came out again. And now, dear little children, who may this story read? To idle, silly, flattering words, take care to never pay heed. To an evil counselor, close your heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly.